Welcome back everybody. Have some expansion projects going on today. This is literally my favorite thing on earth to do, destroy stuff with a mulcher. And today's video is dedicated to you concerned citizens of the interweb. Now fair warning for those of you with sensitive stomachs, you know, this video might not be for you. This is NSFT not safe for trees. As always, we are proud to be sponsored by Boro Wheel Spacers. If you're looking for a stability solution for your tractor, if you're feeling a little tippy side to side, make sure you check out Bora. They are made in America and have a lifetime warranty. And if you enjoyed today's video, watching things get destroyed, I'd love to get a thumbs up from you. I'd like to hear a comment from you either way, good or bad. Hit that subscribe button to see more videos. And if you want something for your tractor or your skid steer, make sure you check out goodworkstractors.com. Okay, so we're using the John Deere 333G skid steer. This thing's a monster monster with the Baumolay MS960 mulcher head. We sell these things. So if you are in the market for one, we can sell you one. We can ship it all over the country, but we've got several expansion projects going on. We're standing where the first one is. For those of you not familiar, we just bought this 140 acre parcel earlier this year. So we're building it out and developing it put in this road here, but we found we need to expand uh, the turnaround area here for wide loads, right? Semi trucks, trailers, trucks and trailers in general. So we're gonna clear out this brush here, do a little driveway expansion. We're gonna open up some more four wheeler trails, and then we're gonna get a drive going to the other side of the property. So I walked it off last week throughout the woods and I found a pretty good, I think, um, gentle slope and pretty balanced left to right so that we can easily traverse tractors back and forth on there. Right now, it's just too dangerous. So nothing too complicated, just doing some project work out here today. So if you wanna see some before and after, some land transformation, get some ideas for yourself, check it out. All right, well, we're gonna to get to it. You know, and for reference, this is a, it's an expensive setup, right? So a lot of guys are gonna rent this service out uh, from folks like myself or, or somebody else and just, have a day or two spent on their property. It's amazing how incredibly effective this tool is at clearing the land. Well, or clearing the air, as a couple guys said in the last video. Either way, we're gonna destroy all the vegetation that we see that's in the way. So again, grab your stress ball if you need to, otherwise grab a cup of coffee and stick around.
we ended up getting two out of three projects done today. We widened the opening near the gate for the trucks to have more space to turn around. And then we got to opening up and extending right in the corner of the property here, coming out of the woods, another ATV or hiking trail, whatever you want to call it. But this mulcher is just amazing at clear cutting through the woods. And that's just a fun way to enjoy things. Whether you're on a quad or you just want to go for a hike or a jog or whatever, it's a cool way to be able to use your property. And a tool like this can make quick work of it. So Chris and I, we walked kind of the general path to get a good feel for where we wanted to put the trail ahead of time. And that was a pain, you know, <laughs> it was so challenging trying to duck under branches, pull the prickers off of you, you know, just kind of go up and over and, and through everything. Whereas when you're just sitting in here, clearing that out, we just walked through a little bit of it now and it's just amazing, right? You have an eight, 10 foot wide path that you can easily walk through. It's very comfortable, very manageable. I mean, if you like spending time outdoors, it's just a fun way to do it. So besides not having enough time to get all the projects done today, things went pretty smooth. We had one loose fitting, it kind of vibrated loose um, on one of the hoses and I saw some spray coming across. So that took a little bit of time to go get the wrenches, tighten that back up. Besides that, if I would have just let my cameraman keep up with me, the day would have gone perfectly. So, you know, again, we've got 140 acres out here. Most of it is woods and wetland and overgrown brushy shrubby area. So we're keeping most of it natural, but we are going to kind of mold it and shape the property to be what we want to do with it. So we're not out to kill the rainforest. We're not out to kill all the wildlife. We just want to be able to manage the land in a different way. I do hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment down below. If you want to see more videos on skid steers and tractor stuff, make sure you hit subscribe. And if you want one of these mulchers, check out goodworkstractors.com. Well, that's all for us today. So until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.